Hi guys, it's Amanda, what's up? I'm about to leave to go meet my two friends, Sydney and Amuna, to go thrifting. We're gonna drive to Oakville and we're meeting at Amuna's, so I have to subway to meet them. Currently 1.12, I have to leave in 10 minutes. I feel like this has to be the first time I've ever done an intro where I'm not like on the way out the door, even though I do have to leave in 10 minutes. I love when we do these multi thrift trip days. I always come home with a huge haul or with just so much insight as to what is out there. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you see something at the thrift that's amazing, but it's not your size or whatever the case may be. So I just always get so much out of these full days of thrifting. As I said in my last Come Thrift With Me, I'm just looking for everything that I mentioned in my fall trends video. I did thrift an amazing fall coat yesterday. So I'm not gonna pick up another coat unless it's perfect, AKA it's a fur coat or it's a floor length leather trench because I'm in the market for both of those right now and a bomber jacket. So if it's any of those three, I will be buying it. I would love to find some nice knitwear, some pants. I think pants are one of the main things I need to add into my wardrobe, specifically some dark denim for fall. You guys know how it is. Whatever I find that's cute, I'm probably gonna buy. But I wanna show you guys my outfit before we leave, obviously, as I always do. I feel like this is the perfect thrifting outfit, especially for today's weather. It's kind of warm. It's like 22 degrees. I don't know why it's still so warm in Toronto. So this sweater is gonna be my jacket. We're gonna be in the car most of the time, so it's not like I need a full coat. And then underneath, I'm doing my Aritzia tank. I've gotten so many comments of you guys asking me to link this tank top and I have the worst news ever. They stopped selling it. They don't sell it in white anymore, which is crazy. They do sell it in black. I know it's like back ordered. So if you order it now, it won't ship until the end of November. I think it's like November 18th or something, but this is called the contour hip length square neck cami. And they haven't had it in white for a while online. Maybe they'll bring it back eventually, I don't know. But you guys know I always do a tank top when I'm thrifting. Yesterday I didn't and I regretted it so much. So I'm doing the tank and then the sweater just for comfortability while I'm in the store before I try things on and to obviously get on the subway and not be fully exposed. And then I really wanted to do a comfy bottom. Like I low key wanted to wear a tracksuit today just because I'm on my period and I'm just like feeling so internally cozy. And I wanted to reflect that and I also wanted to be comfortable, obviously. So I feel like this is the perfect solution for wanting to wear a tracksuit, but not actually wearing a tracksuit. This gray skirt is from Brandy and I've just layered it on top of these yoga pants from Los Angeles Apparel. These just happen to be the exact same shade of gray, which is so perfect. I actually featured this moment in my lookbook. I will link it in the cards. I'm thinking I'm just gonna do my white as skate shoes with this outfit and just keep it super simple. And then I think I'm just gonna do my big Gucci bag, which is my literal everyday bag. It's kind of insane. I did not know when I bought this that I was gonna be wearing it every day. I think it's the silver buckle. Like anytime I try this on and compare it to another bag, I choose this because of this buckle. I just love it so much. And it's so slouchy and chill and I just feel like it works really well. The phone case is also matching the outfit. I'm gonna go now because it's now 1.20. So I'll see you guys at Value Village, I'm so excited. I just got off the bus and I'm walking to Muna's. That took me one hour to get here. So that was quite the mission. And now we're gonna be driving for another hour to Oakville, I think that's where we're thrifting. So hopefully we find some really good stuff to make this two hour journey worth it, you know? Okay, the first Value there. Village we're at is on High Tech Road. If you know, you know. We came here on our last thrift trip day trip and it was really good i feel like this was the thrift i found the most stuff at so i'm really excited we are thrifting in richmond hill today we've all been to this value village before and it is such a good one the last time we came oh my god i found so many things i decided to start off in the blazer section because it's been one of my favorites lately the first thing i found was this white crop jacket by the brand marvelous i love how the pockets extend off the jacket i love a crop jacket for the fall time and i actually don't have an all white one so I was excited to add this to the cart. Then I found this green corduroy blazer. It is so different from anything that is in my wardrobe currently, but it's a very fall appropriate piece. So I thought I would try it on. I love the color. I'm not so into the brown buttons. This is very similar to the first jacket. It's definitely giving composer vibes. The little back ruffle is so cute. I love the silver buttons.
I found this pink and brown blazer which had really adorable pockets. It's nothing crazy, but you know, we're on a blazer kick at the moment, so in the cart she goes. I have found this exact Suzy Sheer leather blazer jacket before, but it hasn't ever been in my size, so I was really excited to see this was a size small. The quality is amazing. I obviously had to check out the long coat section as I'm looking for a trench coat. My jaw did actually drop when I saw this floor length leather trench. This is everything I have been looking for, but near the armpit, the leather was cracking and peeling, so I feel like that is why it's at the thrift. I still added it to the cart to try on just because I need to see the vision. Little did I know hiding behind this jacket was a rock aware puffer. Again, jaw hit the floor. I actually cannot believe that I found this still. Last year, I thrifted a black Rockaware puffer and I've worn it so much. The condition of this is incredible. I swear it's even better than the black one that I have. It's also a down filled jacket, so it's so warm. The sleeves come off of this one as well, so it can be turned into a vest. The pom-poms are my favorite part. I was so happy to find this, honestly. I didn't know how to act. I found this beige bench coat, which isn't too crazy from the front, but the back detail. It says bench in huge letters. The spell out of bench just really gets me and I don't know like the beige on beige is just perfect. The fur was kind of done so I was checking to see if the hood was removable which it is in the cart she goes. You guys know I've been on the hunt for some dark denim so I was very excited to find this denim jacket although it is cropped which I don't love when it comes to denim jackets. I love it in anything else but I found this very Barbie bench moment. Again, the spell out of bench along the collar is so good. I had to add it to the cart. I swear I pick up every single bench jacket that I see. I just, something comes over me and I need to try it on. I spotted another dark denim jacket and this one was by G-Star. It is so perfect. I love that the buttons kind of blend into the dark denim, the buckle detail on the back with the huge tag. I honestly picked up this jacket just because it was Parasuko, I have to be so honest. The wash is not my favorite. I feel like I used to wear this stripy denim wash a lot, like when I first started thrifting, but I'm not as into it now. I honestly don't have a denim jacket in my current wardrobe, so I thought I would add it to the cart regardless. And finally, we made it out of the jacket section and moved on to pants. The first pair that I found were actually Capri's by RW & Co. I love the brown trim along the top and of course the cuff at the bottom. These are the perfect fall Capri. I found these Echo black, very shiny jeans. Unfortunately, they're so high-waisted, like they literally could not be more high-waisted, but the length and the flare is perfect, so I thought I would add them to the cart. I had no idea that my dream pant was in my cart. I'm not even joking. This pair of pants is everything that I've been looking for. You guys will see in the try-on. I will always love a light stonewashed jean, and these Aeropostale jeans were flared. They were low-waisted. I checked out the skirt section and I only found one skirt, which is kind of crazy. This beige, very simple skirt with the belt. There's literally nothing special about it. I found some really cute shoes. These Le Chateau heels reminded me of point shoes. These would be perfect for a black swan Halloween costume. But I always get so scared with the condition of vintage shoes. I'm not even kidding. Like, is it ever worth your shoe breaking from under you while you're out? You know what I mean? I loved the ruffle detail on these call it spring wedges. But as you can see, the sole is already lifting up. So I put those back on the rack. The brand of these shoes is delicious. They are so so cute. They looked really mini, but I thought I would just compare them to my shoe to see. And sure enough, these have to be like a size four. And then I found these very ran through belly button Uggs. I quickly checked out the accessory section. The only thing I found were these white earmuffs. And then somehow we made it back into the jackets, but this time we we're in the men's section. Although the first thing I found was a woman's TNA bomber. Seeing this made me so nostalgic because I swear everybody at my middle school had this bomber jacket. And I honestly love the army green. So I thought I would add it. 
this shirt was genuinely an optical illusion. I thought it was a blouse and I was like, why is this in the men's section? And I went to grab the side of the shirt without realizing that it was printed on a black t-shirt. Like this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen and it went right back onto the rack. At this point, I was very ready to try everything on. We just started with what was at the top. So the TNA bomber was first. And I have to say, I love a bomber jacket. The way that they fit is just so flattering. I think it's mostly because the band at the bottom, it just snatches your waist and then they're so voluminous. This one was too small for me though. This is the most whatever skirt I've ever put on, honestly. The fit wasn't anything crazy, although you can see Amuna eyeing it. She did try it on after me. I still cannot believe I own these pants and they are literally everything that I've been looking for. The fit of them is so perfect. They're baggy, they're low. I also had to try them on with my shoes just to get the full effect. And they're also lined on the inside so they're not itchy because they are wool pants. I got Sydney to film a clip of me explaining how much I love them. Unfortunately, there's no tag, so I have no idea what size they are. I have no idea where they're from. These capris did not fit how I wanted them to. They were really tight and high-waisted. And then the Aeropost style jeans were way too short, which is so sad because the waist fit me perfectly. Okay, Sydney knows I love a voluminous mini dress. They're just so comfortable and this one especially was so soft. As I was wearing it, I was like, wow, this is really soft. Like, where is this dress from? And I checked the tag and sure enough, it is a helmet lang dress. So I was like, um, Sydney, you can have this bag if you want it. Like, you're the one that found it, you know? But she did not want it. So I ended up buying this helmet lang dress for $8.99 and then I put on the G-Star jacket and I feel like I had the biggest lapse of judgment in my life. The wash is perfect. I love how the buttons blend in, but Sydney and Amuna did point out that it was kind of baggy by my waist. And I think it's because of the skirt that I'm wearing, maybe like the way that it's hitting it, it's just kind of making it look weird. So I decided not to get it. And like that has to be my biggest regret ever, but it's okay. And because I put on this Parasuco one right after, I had a direct comparison and I was like, yeah, this one fits better. I'm gonna get this one, which I don't understand how that computed. Maybe I'll end up wearing this jacket all the time through the spring, I don't know. Sydney also found this black sweater, which is so cute. I love the three buttons. This is exactly what I wanna add into my wardrobe. It's so chic, it's perfect for fall. I had to try on the bench Barbie jacket, which is so cute, but this pink color is just not really my favorite to wear. Like, don't get me wrong, pink is my favorite color, but not in clothing. I was super excited to try on this beige jacket and it is really cute, but I had to be so strict with myself in this moment because I own a lot of jackets and I'm like, will I reach for this one over anything else? Also, if it didn't have the back detail, I wouldn't even have wanted it. Next up is the Rockwear puffer, which on honestly fit me perfectly. It's a size small and there's enough room to layer a sweater under if I need to. Like obviously I got this jacket, it doesn't even have to be said. I had to try on the floor length trench, which was so cute. It's a little bit boxier than I would want, but I mean, honestly, if it didn't have the leather cracking, I definitely would have got it. And then I tried on the Suzy Sheer blazer, which was really cute and it did fit me well. I just don't think that I would reach for this. I don't know if it's because the color is a bit warm. It's just not my favorite. I loved this white jacket. Amuna's is like so done in the back. This one was a bit too small for me and I definitely preferred the one that I just tried on to it anyways. And then the last thing that I tried on was the green corduroy blazer, which was cute. I love the color, but again, it's just like, Mm, I don't know, it doesn't feel like me. I decided not to try on these jeans just because they were so high-waisted. I knew I wouldn't like them. So these are all of the pieces that I'm leaving behind and not getting. And then I did buy all of these pieces. So it was honestly very successful. We all walked over to the cash and checked out. I think we were in this store for maybe three hours. Like I can't even lie at this point, I was satisfied and kind of done but we did end up going to another thrift. We just got to the second Value Village. Honestly, I'm tired, I can't even lie. I found so much stuff at the last one. Since I was already on a roll with the jackets, I thought I would just start off in that section again. And right away I found a denier leather blazer. The condition of this is incredible. It looks brand new. I love that the buttons are black. It's just very, very chic. In a size small, so I knew the fit would be 
perfect. And then I found this jacket by the brand Tattoo, which I feel like I always find a piece from Tattoo every time I thrift. The quality was like not even comparable to the Denier one and there was some leather cracking, so no thank you. I checked out the pants section and I found these garage green cargo pants, which Amuna actually ended up picking up. And then again, some dark denim. I don't love the closure of these pants. Like that band is just not really what I'm looking for. Also, they would have been too small, so I didn't add them. And then these J brand pants are so perfect, but they were tiny. Like the flare, the length, the wash, I'm obsessed. And they're brand new. I decided to check out the tops and I found this dead stock Roxy t-shirt. I was excited excited to find this, but I didn't feel like I needed to buy it. This turtleneck sweater was kind of interesting. It had a peplum, which I feel like everybody is about right now. Honestly, I was so done. I barely looked at any of the sections. I was just so tired and hungry. We all were. Sydney found these wedges, which I was like, mm, should I try on? Like they are my size, but Honestly, no. Okay guys, let's try on my one find, this Denier leather blazer. It fit me really well and it's obviously super cute, but I did just buy a Denier leather jacket, which I would reach for over this every single time. So I decided not to get it. While I was trying on, I did spot this fake Burberry scarf, which I loved. The length of it was really nice. I feel like I often find these fake Burberry scarves and they're so short and they're itchy, but this one was perfect. So I decided to pick that up. So we all checked out and then headed home. Thank you guys so much for coming along on this thrift trip. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Yay.